Howdy everyone. Week two results coming up. Um, yes, it's week two, not seven. Um, so had a lot of different answers on this. Uh, some of these questions, when I wrote on here, I didn't know the answers, um, especially like the uh, vanilla one. So we're all learning something as we do this. Beth knew it, I didn't. Um, so here we go. Here we go with the week two. All right, number one, which bird is able to fly backwards? The answer was A, hummingbird. Vicki, Debbie, Diana, Brian, Heather, Su well, Susie, Got it right. Andrea did not. Answer was hummingbird. Number two. Which of the following is a fermented food? Sausage, cheese, or yogurt? The answer was C, yogurt. Vicki, Debbie, Diana, Brian, Susie, and Andrea got it right. Heather did not. So that was number two, yogurt. Here's the one I didn't know until I looked up this question because I thought it was just a bean, but obviously it's part of a flower. Vanilla is derived from which flower? A, sunflower, B, orchid, C, rose. The answer is B, uh, orchid. Um, Vicki, Debbie, Diana, Brian. Uh, what number is that? Three. Uh, Heather, Susie, got it right. Andrea did not. All right, so number four, moving on. The Titanic sank in 1912 during her maiden voyage to New York City from which English city? A, Liverpool, B, London, C, Southampton. And the answer was C, Southampton. Um, Diana, Brian, and Andrea got it right. Everybody else did not. All right, so that was a tricky one there. So here we go, number five. Um, which country does Lego come from? A, Sweden, B, Norway, C, Denmark. Number five, Vicky, Debbie, and Andrea got that one right. It was Denmark. All right, so number six. This one was kind of surprising to me, the wrong answers. Um, what is the strongest sense in the human body? A, smell, B, taste, C, sight. The answer was A, smell. Um, Vicki, Diana. What number is this? Six. six. Um, and Susie got it right. Everybody else got it wrong. Um all right, moving on to number seven. What is the world's most spoken languages? Or what is the world's most spoken language? Um, A, English. B, Mandarin. C, Spanish. The answer is B, Mandarin, which is Chinese. It's because there's so many of them. So number seven. Uh, nobody got it right. Everybody got it wrong. Everybody was saying English and uh, Spanish. All right, going to number eight. What do we call a baby rabbit? A, kitten. B, a cub. C, kit. The answer is C, kit. Vicki, Debbie, Diana, Brian, Susie, and Andrea got it right. Heather did not. Heather went on a string there of getting nothing. All right, number nine. How many countries in the world have their names start with the letter Z? A, two, B, five, C, ten. And the answer is A, two. And they are Zambia and Zimbabwe. All right, so we are having a little technical difficulty. With All right, so number nine. Vicki, Debbie, Diana... Heather, Susie, and Andrea got it right. So there was two, Zambia and Zimbabwe. And the last one, this was kind of tricky one, and I didn't know it either. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But what is aliorophobia? A, fear of cats, B, fear of dogs, and C, fear of mice. And the answer was A, fear of cats. And Brian is the only one that got it right.
Good job, Brian. Oh, yeah, and we had the Brady and the Braves. Because um, I was trying to give Brian a heads up there. Okay, so um, out of week two questions, Vicky got seven. Deb got six. Diana got seven. Brian got six. Heather got three. Susie got six. And Andrea got five. So I'm kind of seeing a trend here because... If I'm not mistaken, Andrea is a teacher, and Heather probably has the most degrees in the family. So what's going on here with you two? <laughs> I know it's not stuff you studied in school, right? So anyhow, with the total results, um, looks like the leaders are Vicki and Diana with 14, Debbie with 13, Diana, or Brian with 12, um, Susie with 11, Andrea with 10, and Heather with a whopping 8. So, Heather, I think you better start putting on your thinking cap and uh, just not go with the random answer. So, All right, so that is the results of week two. I'm going to try some new stuff for week three. I got to redo it. I already had it done. I'm going to redo it. And uh, you guys have a good evening, and I will be posting this. See you guys later.